Hello, everyone. Today I came with a very interesting demo in Copilot Studio. Here, I have created an employee leave management. Copilot chatbot with the dynamic SharePoint online list as a database. Here, I've used Copilot Studio, Power Automate, and Microsoft Teams. It is a completely dynamic Copilot bot. You can feel like this is your live employee leave management bot. You can use this concept in your organization and develop your own custom Copilot. This is very, very interesting. You will learn something new today. Let's say this is my leave management list in my SharePoint online site, and here I've updated annuals leave for employees. The HR team will update the leave for each employee. What is the total leave and remaining leave for each employee? These details beginning of the year, they will update here. For example, here I have three employees, and for this demo, I have updated their leave database. Now I have automated this process completely using the custom Copilot bot. How did I develop this? I'll show you in this demo. I have deployed this Copilot bot in my Microsoft Teams channel. Using this bot, users can apply for a new leave request and check the status of their leave. How can I apply that? I will show that. I triggered the chat by saying hi, and the bot responded with my name, which is dynamic. My logged in user display name. So it is greeting hello, hello lab admin too, and how can I help you today? So you feel like this is your. Real conversation with bot. I want to apply leave. I want to apply leave. Please help me on this. Type something. Like this. Let's see. What comes? Yes, I got a response. I've deployed this bot in debugging mode so I can see debugging values. These are coming from my SharePoint online site list. This is my employee leave management list value. This is initiating, like, please fill out the below form to submit your leave request. In the leave request adaptive card form, employee name and available leave come from SharePoint list dynamically based on the logged in user. It is completely dynamic and automatic. This is also coming from the SharePoint leave management list. So this is also dynamic. I'll select from leave date to leave date and comment. Then submit the form. Right. I will just click on this button. It is processing. Yes, I can see the response. Your leave request has been successfully submitted. Here are the details. I can see my leave details, which came from the SharePoint leave management list dynamically. My leave has been submitted to my SharePoint list, and I can see the details as well. I can see this leave details in my SharePoint leave management list as well. For my user ID, these are the details. Now I will just go to my co-pilot and 
See how? I developed this. This is my custom co-pilot with the two custom topics. One topic is used to get the employee details and the other. To create a new leave request in the leave management list. This is completely dynamic and automatic. So these two topics are being used. In this demo and in the back end, I have created two Power Automate flows. One is to get employee details, and another is to submit the new leave details to the SharePoint online leave management list dynamically. Now, I have this prompt ready. I just asked my co-pilot what the status of my leave is, or something like this. May I know my leave details, which should be displayed in the bullet format. Employee name. From date to date, number of days leave applied. Total leave, remaining leave, leave status, and comment. So let's submit this. Yes, I got the response from my co-pilot about leave details, and I can see the dynamic values that are coming from my leave management list. This is a total leave. This is my balance leave, and the leave status is submitted. It is working. I will show what I have done here. I just clicked on the answer prompt to show which topic got triggered here. And this is a leave status topic that got triggered, which processed my prompt and displayed the result from the SharePoint Online. Leave management list. Here, I've used the create generative answers feature to configure the data source with the custom data. This is the get leave details flow. I am calling here, and let me quickly go to my get leave details flow, what I am doing there. This is my get employee leave details flow. Here I am not passing any input. Here. Dynamically, I'm getting my profile details here to get the logged in user email ID. Based on the logged in user email ID, I am querying the leave management list. Then, I am parsing the get items output JSON, storing the body of a parse JSON action in a compose action. Then finally, passing the output to copy it as a text. This is what I'm doing here. Then I'll go to my copilot. What I have done is I have just called this flow from my copilot. I can find my flows from here and select them. So this is how I called here. Then this is the output, which I have stored here and displayed in the message box for the debugging purpose. Then parse that output to a record. For that, first we need to select the data type as from sample data, then pass the sample JSON schema. This is the sample JSON schema. I have passed there. Then my Power Automate output converted to a record type automatically. I've added a Create Generative Answers node. I have passed this data source as a custom data which came from my SharePoint online list. So how did I do that? I went to the custom data from the classic data section.
Then in the formula, I have added this formula there. And if you don't pass this formula, and directly pass this record variable in the form of table. It will not show any errors. You can save it perfectly. But at runtime, you will get this error. This is the error you'll get. Error message. Missing or invalid assignment for variable. So that's not recommended. And I need to pass it in the form of a formula. So this is the formula I have used. What I meant was that even I can directly pass this global variable there in table format. But that will not work, though I will not get to see any errors while saving. This is how I am seeing this output here. The Gen AI is constructing the output like a human based on the dynamic formula value. And this is what exactly I have done here. This also teaches us how we can construct a custom data source with the SharePoint online data in the generative answers node. This is to get the status of my leave dynamically from the SharePoint online leave management list. Right? So now I will go to my other topic where I have created this adaptive card form and submitted the leave. For my Teams channel, I'll show you how I've designed my employee leave request card. This is my apply leave topic. I created again this custom topic. I want to load dynamic data from my SharePoint online list, and that is the employee name and the available leave for the logged in employee. For that, I need to first call the get employee details flow. So I am calling that same get employee details flow here. And here also I'm parsing that output and converting it into a record. This is a message node to instruct the user. Please fill out the below form to submit your leave request. So this is the adaptive card here. I am displaying that dynamically. Let's go to this edit formula. I've used this formula to get the logged in user display name from the leave management list. I have used this and I'm getting this employee display name. Then I'm going to my available leave or remaining leave using this formula I am getting this dynamically. Using this JSON, you can design the adaptive card, then pass the dynamic value from the edit formula mode. This is my adaptive card JSON, which I have used there. All source codes. What I am showing here, you will get it from my blog post. I will mention that in the comment section. The source codes, like the formula and JSON used in this demo, you will be getting from there. After submitting the leave, apply adaptive card form. I am just calling my another flow that is to Send leave request from Copilot. Let me see what are the parameters I have here. These are the parameters like from date to date and comments I need to pass from my Copilot. Again, I am querying my profile to get the logged in employee details. 
Then I'm doing the same thing like previous flow. I'm getting the logged in user details from the leave management list. In the condition, what I am checking is whether the length of get items output is greater than zero. If yes, the logged in employee is found in the employee leave management list. In the true condition section, I'm updating the list. So this is my site. This is my list name. This is the ID. And here I am formatting the from date and to date, then passing them. Then calculating the number of days leave from the to date and from date and passing it. This is the formula I have used for this. You'll get these formulas from my blog post. Total leave passing from my get items query action. Then calculating the number of days of remaining. Leave using the total leave and number of days of leave applied. So this is the formula I have used here. I am passing it here. Finally, I am sending this output to. Copilot, this is not needed because I don't need any output from this flow. This is just a sample text output I have given here. Now I will move on to my Copilot topic. Same thing I did. I called that flow, and here I am passing from date to date in comments, all coming from this. Adaptive. Card output. Right? Converting these two dates in expected format and passing them as a string, as these two dates are string types in Power Automate Flow. That's it. So this is how it is working, and I hope you enjoyed and liked this demo, and you learned something new today. If this helps you, please consider subscribing to my channel. In the upcoming days, I'll come up with many videos on the latest technology, like Copilot, GenAI, Power Platform, AI, SharePoint Online, and many more. Thank you.